All right, we're going to get you started on tonight's homework. Looking at this, this is number five. An object moves at a constant speed in a circle. At the x's, around the circle, draw on the velocity vector. So if it's traveling at a constant speed, the magnitude of the vectors are going to be the same. But as we discussed in class, the, the direction of these velocity vectors is going to be tangent to the curve. So this should get you started. As you can see, I drew the initial velocity before you hit point A and the velocity right after you hit point A. I spaced them out a little bit so we have some room to work with and we can draw a vector diagram that will make sense. All right, so now remember when we do vector subtraction, the change in velocity is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity. All right, now when we're doing vector subtraction, we have to change this to vector addition. So the final velocity plus a negative initial velocity. Now to do our vector diagram. Okay, if we look at our initial velocity, negative, the negative initial velocity for A would be pointing in the opposite direction. So I just drew this in here for reference. And then if we do the final velocity of A in this box, now we're going to draw the addition of the final velocity at A plus the negative initial velocity at A. Draw these in here. Okay, this would be VF. And this would be plus a negative VI. In blue, from the start to the finish, I'm going to draw in the change in velocity arrow. Alright, so if we look at this, our delta V arrow, roughly as we go through point A, is pointing to the left. Okay, now for the rest of the homework, what you guys are going to do is you're going to look at the change in velocity at B, C, and D. You're going to go back to number four and you're going to think about this in terms of the ball traveling in a circle and how it relates to Newton's second law. So the important thing here is the direction of the change in velocity arrow. Think about the importance relative to Newton's second law. You know, what, what's the relationship between the two? Why is the change in velocity arrow important? Then when you're drawing your force diagrams and you're writing out your second law equations, keep that in mind.